about just outside the Lord Moon of the Mall. There's a very interesting story about this sign on the pavement down here and how London got its pavements. The story starts over here in Craig's Court. So in 1702, Earl Harrington had this house built because originally the Royal Court was situated at the Palace of Whitehall, which was just around the corner there. And Earl Harrington thought, I know, how can I best suck up to the royal family? I'll have a house built right next door. So one day, the Speaker of the House of Commons was coming to visit Earl Harrington here in his house. And he came down this narrow alleyway and his coach got stuck. Back in those days, there was nowhere denoting where you should walk and where you should drive your coach and horses. So the poor old Speaker of the House of Commons had to be rather embarrassingly prized out through the roof of his coach. And he got very upset about it and he thought it was most undignified. Worse still, he had to walk all the way back to the House of Parliament. The lazy, it was only a two minute walk down the road. So he decided if people had curb stones outside their houses, then he wouldn't have got stuck between these buildings. So they voted in a bill through Parliament that said, that everybody was responsible for paying for the curbstones outside their own house. And that includes the one over the road here. This used to be the offices of the Royal Admiralty. See, back in the 16th century, Queen Elizabeth I introduced a law that said that all naval property had to have a certain seal on it, the naval seal. That's why the Royal Admiralty had to stamp their seal onto this curbstone because it was Admiralty property. Yeah, I never knew that. Did you know that? You can't I mean, hear me. I don't think I care. <laughs>